Hi guys, it's Mark from AnyPond.com, your trusted resource in the UK for ponds and water features. And what we're doing today is we're upgrading this traditional pond. It's a preformed pond, seven foot by five foot by about two foot, two foot six deep. And we've got lots of fish in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade it to a 10 foot by eight foot pond. And we're gonna also put on a lovely stream, about three foot long, ready for the birds and the wildlife. It's a bit of a cold one today. We're in late January and we're gonna enjoy this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the skimmer this end and that's this. So basically on a fish pond we can put on a skimmer and it has a six inch opening at the front which basically skims off the water which is most highly oxygenated and that feeds the biological stage. So the skimmer is the mechanical stage removing all the bits. There's a little bit of trees and stuff around this particular pond and you need that mechanical filtration. Also the benefit of this skimmer is you've got the pump on the side of the pond so you don't have to go fishing in the middle of the pond or get your scuba diving gear on to get to the pump. It's literally on the side of the pond and you can just do an undo and a coupler and then pull the pump out of the skimmer. So it's very easy to access and it's absolutely perfect. And then what we do is we put the waterfall box the opposite end of the pond. So you've got that flow which is basically pulling from one side and then flow into the other side and the highly oxygenated water from the skimmer is feeding that biological stage and the biological media need lots of oxygen so the turnover is going to be good the stream's going to be good the birds are going to love it the fish are going to love it stay tuned for the any pond showcase So as you can see we're having great fun with this pond build. What we're doing is we're carrying on with the pond build, we're carrying on with the groundwork, we've got a lot more digging to do, we've probably got another half what we've taken out yesterday, we've got to put the skimmer in place, we've got the biofalls to put in, we've got the lovely stream to start putting those benches in to create that lovely slow or slow the water down in the stream. We've got a delivery of white sand expected this afternoon and when I mean white sand it's the snow. It's typical British weather, who knows whether it's coming, that's in the lap of the gods. But you stay there and enjoy the Any Pond Showcase.
had any white sand delivered yet, but we've certainly got the heavens open. It's drizzly and horrible. But don't you worry, you stay indoors and then carry on enjoying what we're doing. As you can see we're having great fun with this project but we're going to call it a day because the heavens have opened we haven't had the snow so that's a good thing so we're not going to get a carpet over um, everything but as you can see it's raining so we're going to call it a day see you tomorrow good morning we're back on site and if by magic it was just a couple of seconds for you guys last night there's a little bit of traffic on the road but we're back on site and it's a beautiful sunny day and we're rocking a pond nothing beats it so what we're going to do now is we're going to pump out the rest of the little bit of water that came down last night. We had sleet, we had snow, we had a bit of rain. So there's about three or four inches in the bottom here. So we're going to pump that out and then carry on rocking the process, put some gravel down, carry on enjoying. You stay there and I'll talk to you in a minute. we're getting on really really well now we've got a lot of the rocks in place we've got a lot of cobbles we've got the plants in so now is I'm going to go round the edge and trim up all of the liner so then we can start landscaping around and doing a bit what we're going to do um, later on is we're going to start doing the waterfall but at the moment we're just going to roughly cut and roughly do the edges
we wouldn't have been able to imagine our new pond the way Mark transformed it. The landscaping around it is superb. Looks like a film set. We are very, very pleased. So what do you think? As you can see, we put on a single um, line of stones just to define the borders and it looks much better. And what we've done is we've gone round the whole of the garden and we've built a small retaining wall down the bottom and we've put a single line of stone just to define the borders of this particular garden and it's changed it, it's revolutionised this particular garden. And as you can see, we've finished the pond build. The natural waterfall, you can't see the water source. You know, you don't know exactly where it comes from and it's not like a ski slope or water coming down steps. I see that too many times on the internet, it's just crazy. What I like really doing is recreating nature and as you can see, it does look very natural. One of the things that we did with this particular pond was we actually dropped the water level, which may digging out a lot more, but on the old pond, the water level was actually above the ground level, which isn't natural at all. So my name's Mark, the Pond Advisor, and I'm here to support you, dream, plan, and enjoy ponds and water features. And if you like this particular pond, let me know in the comments section below. What's your favourite bit? My favourite bit is the waterfall on this. It looks fantastic. But tell me what your favourite bit is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.